First at noon, it's the high stakes meeting many all around the world have been waiting for. Presidents Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin meeting face to face in Germany. The two world leaders met during what many say is the main event at the G20 summit in Hamburg, Germany. It's their first meeting since U.S. intelligence officials say Russia meddled in the 2016 election. CBS4's Mola Lenghi is at the White House with our top story this noon. President Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin sat down for their first face to face meeting. It's an honor to be with you. Thank you. North Korea and Syria are on the agenda, but with only 30 minutes to talk, including translation time, White House officials say don't expect much to be accomplished. Not a lot of time to get into these issues, so the stakes in this meeting have, I think, become unrealistically high. While Russian interference in the presidential election was not expected to come up, the president raised the issue on Twitter this morning, saying, Everyone here is talking about why John Podesta refused to give the DNC server to the FBI and the CIA. Disgraceful. It wasn't all Putin and Russia today. The president also had a meeting with Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto. We're negotiating uh, NAFTA and some other things with Mexico, and we'll see how it all turns out. Peña Nieto canceled a meeting with President Trump at the White House earlier this year after a dispute over the border wall. You don't want Mexico to pay for the wall? Yeah. Demonstrators continue their violent protests outside the summit. They blame G20 leaders for problems, including climate change and the migration crisis. They even successfully blocked Melania Trump from leaving her hotel this morning. At the White House, Mola Lenghi, CBS 4 News. And here now is the very latest from that meeting. The Associated Press now reporting that the U.S. and Russia are prepared to announce a ceasefire in southwest Syria starting Sunday. Now, President Trump meets with China's president tomorrow. Relations between the two countries have suffered a bit over how much support China is willing to give in order to stop North Korea's nuclear and ballistic missile programs.